Good evening. The Earth's climate could be changing more rapidly than anyone thought. Sir David King, the government's chief scientific advisor, warned tonight that the devastating effects of climate change, including floods and storms, could become far more familiar. We have no record going back a million years where carbon dioxide levels were this high. Natural effects could not have caused that increase. If there is a trend, can the forests cope? They're one of the natural mechanisms for soaking up carbon dioxide. One big worry, we simply don't know how much they can take. Already, we can see effects of increased storminess, increased storms at seas, attacks on coastlines, floods in our cities. Many of these will become more and more frequent as we move ahead with global warming. Warming that we've seen over the past 150 years is due simply to an increase in carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And indeed, by looking in detail at the isotopic composition of the carbon dioxide, uh, we can determine that that has come from human activities and isn't natural. We now know that in the distant past and even in the recent past, climate change and CO2 are not intimately connected, at least not in the sense that CO2 causes climate. I mean, high-resolution measurements have shown pretty well that changes in temperature during the recent ice ages were uh, preceding CO2, not following. So it may be unrelated at all. Serious action on climate change is what the experts conclude will make a big difference. Reducing carbon dioxide emissions so sea levels don't rise as much and the weather doesn't get as stormy as has been predicted could cut the costs by a quarter. We'll have to adapt too, they say, for example, by letting rivers flood farmland upstream so cities downstream aren't inundated. The air masses are going to warm more in the Arctic than they are at lower latitudes, and that is going to steepen thermal gradients, and that, of course, is what drives storminess. And if you look, and this is just one aspect of how climate change can affect us, you look at the insurance industry in Europe and what they're now saying about that impact of increased storminess they're saying we could be bankrupted by the increased hit rate of hurricane force storms hitting urban centers in europe and indeed around the world as a result of this bankrupted this is a trillion dollar a year industry you can read it in reports from munich re and swiss re biggest reinsurance companies in the world and they're also now saying that could have a very serious knock-on effect on the capital markets from that financial shock so people shouldn't think about just warming temperatures or the fact that it's actually colder than it used to be in my particular city it's much much more serious and sophisticated a threat than that